Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll show you how you can write or download resource configurators configuration file to the Yokugawa Stardom. This technique can be used to, for any flavors of Stardom product like FCJ, FCN RTU, and FCN. The resource configurator allows user to allocate I.O. to its respective slot and channel number. For example, if you have a DI allocated for say slot 2, channel 3, that can be defined using resource configurator. Okay, let's get started. So let's launch a uh, resource configurator. Once resource configurator gets started, let's expand this here. Click on connect. When you connect, you have to enter the IP address on the host name for the stardom. Username will be stardom and the user password would be Yokugawa in uppercase. That's the default. Out of the box, that's what it is. So once that's done, you'll get this screen here. So on this screen here, uh, you can actually start doing configuration. But if you have a predefined IOS and has been exported, it is normally saved as an XML file. You can import that file into your configuration here. So in order to do that, click on File, Import, and select your XML file from the pop-up menu. And click OK here to allocate everything. And once that's done, you have all your configuration. So if you are ready to write the configuration to the stardom, you will click on the download button. And when you click on the download button, you'll be prompted with start downloading. You click OK to start downloading. And depending on how big your file is, the download can take as long as 15 minutes in some of the facilities that have worked in the past. But for this demonstration, it's going to be relatively quick uh, because I don't have that many I.O. allocated on my demo at stardom. So once the download is complete, they will tell you that the CPU needs to be power cycle in order for the resource configuration to be uploaded. Click OK. There's two ways to restart or power cycle your stardom. One way would be to basically pull the knife on the uh, terminal blocks. Another way would be to use the stardom maintenance page. I'll demonstrate using a stardom maintenance page here now. So open up your browser and then enter the IP address followed by slash MNT as shown on the screen here. Stardom's web server works on Firefox, Google Chrome, IE, and Safari. So once it is loaded, again, the username here will be same as in the resource configurator. A Stardom as in lowercase, password will be Yokugawa as in uppercase as shown in this screen here. Again, these are default user credential. So once that's loaded, you'll see that you have our maintenance web page. You're going to have to click on maintenance menu at the bottom, the hyperlink there. And then you click on the reboot hyperlink. Followed by, so make sure you select reboot online and click OK. As you can see on the bottom right hand corner, three LEDs should be running on the normal circumstances. But as soon as you hit reboot, all three LEDs will go off. The top LED is HRDY, is hardware ready. Uh, the top, I mean uh, on the far left hand corner. The middle one will be RDY as in ready. And the last one further on the far right hand side is CTRL as in controller. You'll go through a sequence of startup sequence with LED flashing. So all three LED has to come on. We're just gonna let it run for a few moments here. Once all the three LEDs are up, your stardom is ready to go. You can launch a resource configurator and uh, get online with a controller and do whatever you have to do to configure and set up. I hope this tutorial helps. If you do, please give me a thumbs up 